Secretary Mayorkas, you testified several times that our immigration system is, quote, fundamentally broken. True or false, under President Trump, we saw the lowest rate of illegal immigration in 45 years. Um, I don't know if it's uh, within 45 years, but we certainly saw in 2020 uh, a low level uh, of illegal immigration. 2019 uh, was okay. very high. True, true or false, Secretary Mayorkas, this year under Joe Biden, we've seen the highest rate of illegal immigration in 61 years. Again, I don't know the number of years, but it's certainly a historic high, Senator. So you're right, it's broken, but you broke it. Let me ask you, in the calendar year 2021, how many illegal immigrants do you expect to have crossed illegally into the United States? I believe the, um, the total number of encounters has been referenced in this hearing earlier is um, uh, approximately just under 1.7 million. But there's two months remaining. Is it correct that you project over 2 million illegal immigrants in 2021, calendar year 2021? I believe that is correct, Senator. And over the last three months, we've seen a drop in the numbers by reason. And, and how many children do you project in 2021? I'm sorry. How many children will have crossed illegally in 2021? Um, I believe that thus far through October 31st, uh, Senator, approximately 125,000 unaccompanied children have been transferred uh, to the shelter and care of Health and Human Services. Now, you told another senator you don't know how many gotaways there have been? Uh, I will have to circle back, uh, Senator, with that information. Yes. So that wasn't a fact that, that you thought was relevant to this hearing? Oh, it is um, uh, absolutely uh, uh, relevant. I, I understand why the question is posed. It's a fact of great... Okay. You're, but you're not prepared to answer it. How about this? How many deaths, how many illegal aliens have died crossing illegally into the United States under Joe Biden's administration? I don't have that data. Okay. So, the, so the deaths, you didn't prepare that data either. All right, how about this? How many children have been in the Biden cages in calendar year 2021? Um, uh, Senator, I uh, respectfully disagree with um, your use of uh, the term cages. Fine, you can disagree with it. How many children have been in the Biden cages? I've been to the Biden cages. I've seen the Biden cages. How many children have you detained at the Donna Tent facility in the cages you built to hold kids? How many children have been in those cages? Uh, uh, Senator, I can uh, uh, provide to you the following uh, figure that... Um, when and let me let me say that when a child i i don't child, I, I, it's a simple question how many children have been in those cages uh, i i respectfully am not familiar with the term cages and to what you are referring there are enclosures in which they are locked in in which i took photographs and put them out because you blocked the press and didn't want people to see the biden cages the secure facilities in which they are locked down in donna that uh, those facilities how many children have been in them Senator, there are three types of facilities. There's the, the Donna tent cages, there, the, the Donna tent city. Let's take the Donna facility. How many children have been there? That is a soft sided facility. It is not. A okay. You're, are you going to answer the question? How many children have been in that facility? I, I will have to circle back with you with the precise number. Oh, by the way, here's a photograph of the Biden cages. That, um, uh, Senator, um, that is precisely why I articulated Children beginning. sleeping on floors crashed in upon each other. When I took this photograph, the COVID rate, rate of COVID positivity was over 10%. May I, may I speak, Senator? You can answer the question, how many kids have been in these that, conditions? That is precisely why I stated in March of this year that a Border Patrol station is no place for a child, number one. Okay, but number two, all right, that is precisely. Secretary Mayorkas, you're not answering my question, so let me ask you this. In the past year, has Joe Biden been down to see firsthand the Biden cages? Senator, I will again. Respond. Has Joe Biden been down to see this facility? The, yes or no? The president has not been down to. OK, the no. Has Kamala Harris been down to see the Biden cages, this facility? Um, yes or no? Uh, the vice president was at the border. Has she been down to see this facility? I know she went to El Paso. Has she seen the Biden cages? They are not cages. And um, what are these walls? Senator, the ha, has, has Kamala Harris seen them? Yes or no? Senator, the the it's a simple question. Yes I, or no? I did. We don't need a paragraph. Yes or no? Has Kamala Harris been down to see these detention facilities? She has not been down. Okay. Has any Democratic senator on this committee been down to see the Biden cages? I will once again disagree with your use of terminology. These facilities, has any Democratic member of this committee given a damn enough to see the children being locked up
by Joe Biden and Kamala Harris because of your failed immigration policies. Uh, Senator, I cannot speak to um, the members of this committee. And you, you don't know if any Democrats have been down there? To, to Oh, I, I believe d Democrats have been down. To see this facility, yes or no? On a facility. Whether they are members of this committee, I do not know. And All right, let me ask you a different question then. That what we do how, how many women have been sexually assaulted being trafficked into this country in 2021? Senator, I have no ability to determine uh, how many. Okay, you don't know, so you didn't try to find out. Have been um, sexually assaulted in Mexico along the migratory. All right, how about this? How many children have been sexually assaulted by traffickers or other people when they were coming in illegally? I do not have that data. So. Okay, so you don't know that either. Let me ask you this. How many illegal immigrants have you released into the United States? who were COVID positive? Senator, we, it is our policy to test uh, individuals. I didn't ask your policy. How many illegal aliens have you released who were COVID positive? Well, let me just say, when they are released, they are placed in immigration. How many have you released that were COVID positive? I will have to get that number. Okay, you don't have that answer either. All right, let's, let, let's try this. How many illegal aliens have you released who had criminal convictions? Um, who have criminal convictions in Mexico? In the criminal convictions in whatever jurisdiction, uh, uh, those individuals, if they pose a public safety threat, how many individuals with criminal convictions have you released? Senator, I do not have that. OK, number. let's specify it more narrowly. How many murderers have you released? I'm not aware of any murderers. Whom how many rapists have you released? I'm not aware of any rapists. Whom how many child molesters have you released? I am not aware of any child molesters whom we have released into the United States. And I should say. Senior Customs and Border Patrol agent, uh, leadership have told me that your agency is slow walking and refusing to comply with the order from the federal court to return to the remain in Mexico policy. What would you say to the judge if the judge was asking why you should not be held in contempt and incarcerated for defying a federal court order? Um, it is because uh, we are implementing the court's order in good faith. We are working with Mexico. It requires a bilateral re relationship and an agreement. And I should also add, have you or anyone on your staff expressed to Mexico to resist going back to this agreement? No. And I should also indicate to you, Senator, that Immigration and Customs Enforcement, ICE, under the sex offenders uh, operation known as SOAR, um, apprehended 495 individuals between June 4th and September 1st who committed sex offenses and were very focused on public safety. <laughs>